do folks and welcome back to the channel we are currently sat on a lane Mudhurst lane uh, to be correct up in higher Disley and we're gonna have a little loop tour around these parts on new roads uh, so we've actually been down a little bit this road before uh, past the shining hotel on the left which we'll see in a bit and then we did a right loop up towards the bowstones which are uh, an ancient pair of way markers up on the hill that was a couple of years back i think but we've never done the whole loop back towards mac and then go up valley so that's what we're going to do so uh, without further ado let's get this bike on the road so over to the right of me is a famous park around here called lime park and its grounds stately home of the lee family and that's the Shining Hotel there. So here we go. So we've never done this road before. Mudhurst Lane towards Mac. Cracking view of the hills over there now. Yesterday was a scorcher. Sun on your back all day. And I was doing some other jobs back at home. And it was supposed to give that for the whole holiday weekend. But today is absolute dull and grey. And it's actually quite cool. Still only got a t-shirt underneath, like it's not that cold, but still. Laps Road. <laughs> Here's a few twists and turns on this road. Only to get stopped by a bloody car in front as usual. Down the dip. It looks like he's going to piss down. Probably will. You know how many times you end up going home with a wet crotch? So look at this view. cool is that, apart from the doom clouds over the background. Higher Cliff Farm. Yeah, so for those of you that uh, did actually vote last night, I know I put it on quite late, uh, but yeah, I'm out on the 48. If I'd have gone out on the Tiger, I'd have probably got up early and done a longer tour, but uh, there's a few more things on today, so we're going to keep this a short one, but I've never been, there's a turn up here that goes back down to the Goit, so it'll be interesting to see what's down there. Completely different to last week with 20 bikes by the coast and that was an epic run I must admit and that's the first time I've been to the top on uh, last week's ride uh, we're supposed to take us to the top of the Great Arm I usually go down around the side of it down to the beach at the bottom there we go on the twist is stuck behind the motorhome Oh, fantastic is that. What is it, Camper Van Day?
over the Macclesfield side over there. Legs on the ground. What an epic little run that is. The only problem is, is they do try and put these 50 limits up around a lot of these roads around here. But as long as you're not being daft. Now that's looking over into the Cheshire Plain now, so you're coming off the hills, then over that side is the Cheshire Plain, it's nice and flat. There's this road, Saltersford and the Goit Valley, I think we've been up this way before. So in a couple of weeks I'll be heading back north again with uh, Stuart on his Benelli, we've got some unfinished business. Wow, that's uh, <laughs> that's a good one to come around the corner to. We've got some unfinished business in Scotland. Uh, when we came back from the tour, the rainy tour, I should say, um, we'd sort of bit a little dejected at the end of it, even though the last day was the only time the rain had stopped. And, uh, how windy is it? <laughs> yeah, it was the only day the rain had stopped when we come back down to St Mary's Lock and we were going to stay over there. Um, but yeah, we, we were just all, you know, just ready for home. So we're going to go back up there and then towards a place called Moffat, which is where we came out and ended the tour and then do a little day's wait, uh, riding around Galloway Forest. There's some gravel roads around there and you can camp in the forest, so we're going to do that on one of the nights and then head back over and do the borders road, some of them that we haven't done before and then hopefully camp by the lock uh, with a little campfire and all that shenanigans going on uh, on the Sunday. So a little short weekend tour that's planned in a couple of weeks time, so we are praying to the weather gods that the doom clouds stay off us on this one obviously because we had enough of it last time we was up there so hopefully uh, things will be good for that now we will be on the tiger uh, but it doesn't make a difference we're going to look for some epic footage and some uh, cinematic stuff to bring to you on that couple of days riding so uh, that one is one to watch out for but these little local I mean this is what 40 minutes now from my house another little local ride out and I've not done this road I don't think I've done this road before I remember Saltersford coming back the other way but I think that was I can see a road over there and it might be the one that goes over that way I don't know but we'll head back down here and then see if we can find out whether it is the road because that hill looks familiar over there um, but we'll see So I think it, uh, it is part of the road I have been down before but we haven't gone straight on towards Buxton so it's the Reno Road and then uh, back to the Goit Valley this way so yeah we'll go up towards the Buxton Road I think. So I think that sweeping winding road just up to the left 
Oh, right in the centre of the shot now is the one that we go up and then I remember that ridge line of rocks slightly over to the left you won't be able to pick it up with the GoPro but where the the cars are on the top of the hill Clough. It's one of those areas though, the Goit, that I don't really come to enough because there's a lot of other roads. I say this quite a lot, people tend to stick to the same routes or routes if you're from the US of A. Um, because it's easier or because they know it and then the only time you find new roads is by saying hey I wonder what's down here or I wonder what's down there and the problem is is it's hard to get hold of routes or routes on the definitive map around here for some of the smaller roads because most of the smaller roads around here are more uh, byways or off-road track, so to speak, or not uh, metalled, whichever way you want to look at it. Okay, so no vehicles except for access, public footpath uh, to Kettlesium and then the it's a T junction anyway, and then the Goit Valley and Kettlesium. Look at this old uh, Saltersford, I think, yeah, I've been down here before, Saltersford Chapel. Public footpath to Reno. <sighs> this is becoming like one of my old exploration videos. This I'll have to do some more of those. Look at this. Seventeen thirty-three. <laughs> Ah, oh, that is old. June the 24th, 1733. To be exact, some old graves in there. Wow. What a lovely little building. Usually of a creaking gate. Look at the size of some of these. They're that worn you can't even make them out. Yep, they're old. Right, on to the next stop. Bike's looking well. And she's running great as well after that problem we had, which was... Uh, 
I didn't explain to it very well on the the garage vlogger did when I fitted the new battery uh, but I had underneath the cover here a couple of wires that were getting trapped and shaft down here so you've got this control module behind and then the wire into it and that was where it was shafting so every time I went over a bump or a major bump um, what was happening it was throwing on the engine management light it's not very good is it cheap charging point it's probably just got warm won't go back in um, so yeah just a matter of sorting that wire out fitting the new battery and it was throwing up the ABS fault after clearing the other fault codes first so that uh, that was the problem so I'm glad that's fixed because that was pretty annoying bit tight Northern Soul, a way of life. Yeah, if you want to live in the 60s. Now I think, going back the last time I rode the Goy, I'm sure this is the road I was looking for. I remember back as a kid, in one of my first cars, driving down here, and I've never, never been down it since. And I just remember this narrow road with all the banks on either side of it. Now we did a, a little bit of it on the other road. But this is looking more positive, because I always thought, I always remember the goit from this bank road. So with a bit of luck, it should drop down to a body of water somewhere, I think. And I think there's one higher up on the moor as well. Maybe this is it. All the heather coming in, out now in the colour. But always around the autumn time you get the heather with this sort of rich purple flower. I don't know, part of the forest is down there and then I think the, the high road at the top I just noticed some vehicular motion at the top and I think that's uh, part of the cat and fiddle but seems like the car park cat <laughs> it seems like the car parking space there there's a lot of people walking up a path to here so I don't know what that is but but it is beautiful the Goit Valley wow That is low. You know what I'm thinking, folks?
anyway folks we shall wrap this one up for today uh, but uh, thanks for coming along for the ride if this is the first time watching El Komodo please do hit the subscribe button and uh, do check out the back catalogue there's plenty to keep you busy out there and uh, for the rest of you thanks for all the support you keep giving me there's plenty more to come soon on the channel we've got the garage series uh, we've got the paintwork like I said some more spannering and we've got that epic ride out planned soon for the weekend so uh, do look forward to that I shall keep you posted but for now Alcomono is signing out. Uh, we'll see you next time, guys.